Hi everybody, me again. So I uh, just received a package um, and I've got here uh, what are called terminal block connectors. Uh, so these I've not used before, but thought I'd get myself some. So they fit onto a standard DIN rail. So this is a DIN rail 35 mil and uh, you can get various sizes of these little connectors and they seem much better than the alternative so there's lots of different manufacturers of these you just do a search of din rail uh, on uh, on the internet and they clip onto the din rail so the din rail would be fixed inside a box or on a back plate and then you can see on here uh, there's a couple of inserts here that will spring over the din rail so to connect it all you do is clip it on the back and then just push and you can hear it click and then that gives you a nice neat and mechanically solid connector so these are screw type you can get clip on type so you can see there there's a couple of terminal screws at the top so when you pull down the screws these will then clamp onto the cables and the cables go into the side and then you can build up as many of these as you need so they do them in different uh, amp ratings so this is a two mil squared i've also got here some four mil squared so you can see the difference there so this would take a four mil squared cable this would take a, a two two and a half mil squared cable and then you just rack these together so if i just show you how they work you can see here that the terminal where you put the cable uh, just in there is connected to this clamp that goes through on a copper bar to the next clamp so the current will flow through so if i just put a screwdriver in the top and do that up you can see that's raising up i don't think see that yep that's just raising up and then that will clamp the cable onto the bar that goes across uh, giving it a nice firm and mechanical uh, connection and then what you can do once you clip these onto the din rail you can build up a set so this is a two mil uh, neutral so i'm in the uk blue is the color code for neutral so then if i get a uh, a brown which is for live so uh, all you would do is push it up so first of all you can see here that this is exposed now if you were just having one connector on its own then they sell a little plate which just clips on and then gives you the insulation but if you're building them up they insulate each other so if i get the brown uh, for my live connection and then just clip that on and push that in place you can see they're right next to each other and the brown has insulated the open side of the blue and then you can continue to build that up so there's also an earth a little bit uh, different design with the earth let me just put that down a second so with the earth one um, you can see it actually has a bare metal clamp so that when it goes onto the din rail you've got earth running along the whole rail giving you a common earth which i think is pretty neat so if we then put the earth on just clip that over and clip that so now you've got a nice set uh, you've got your neutral live and earth uh, you can also I don't think it needs it. it's quite uh, stable but they also provide these end posts so these are purely for clamping down and uh, keeping everything nice and steady so if I put one of those on you can see the two uh, clips here when you hit the screw there that will clamp on so if I just put that on the end and then get a screwdriver and then give that a quick tighten i can feel that clamping that's it so if you look underneath now those metal clamps have gone over the lip of the din rail so now that is solid so that's nothing's going that way and then if i wanted to i can put another one on this side or you could use it as a separator and then start to build up some different circuits on here one of the other things that i've got in the kit is this common uh, rail here so this is like a, a live buzz bar so the theory here is here obviously the cables will go in the bottom and out of the top each one of those circuits is physically separated from the other so there's no uh, cross connect but if you wanted to set up a bank of common lives for example so if i just put on a few of the live circuits here so bear with me a sec while well, i put a couple on There we are, let's put another one on there. If I wanted to now, I could make 
one cable come in but make these common so you've got a live block you can buy these in different lengths i just happen to get this is four because i'm going to have a block of four but just to show you if you look down in there you can see some holes in there they correlate to this bar i don't know if you can quite see that but on top of that copper bar there there's some square holes which correspond to the size of these square pins so when you push these down they go in just imagine I've got two more blocks on there that means if I put a cable in here the live is now spread across those two blocks so you can build yourself up a nice block of positive connections and then take the feeds out uh, to the circuits that you want to supply to so I think these look great so the plan is for me um, I've got an external uh, IP67 rated uh, box which I'm going to in the garden, which I'm going to supply to sockets and lights, etc. So I'm going to make up a, uh, a little terminal junction box using these, and that's the plan anyway. So that's them connected. Then what, what I've got here is uh, a plastic junction box. This is IP67 again. This is just made of plastic. So here you can see there's a, a gasket which I'll put around here, that'll make it waterproof. And you can see I've got a, another a DIN rail, which I've cut to size, which will screw in the bottom of the box. And then all of these can be mounted inside. So hopefully that gives me a nice solid um, connection box. So anyway, I hope that helps. So this is just a little quick review of these great little items. I think they're gonna turn out to be uh, quite good. Uh, they're well made, they just cost pennies each, which I think is brilliant. Um, so in the next video, I'll assemble this box and show you what it looks like um, all put together. Um, so that was just a quick review. Hope you liked that. If you did, please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everyone.